السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. This is Hani Ismail from Planning Engineer website. In this video, I would like to answer some of your questions I received frequently. So uh, let's start immediately, and I hope uh, this video will answer some of your questions. And I will tell you at the end of the video how you ask your question if you have one. Okay. So the first question and the most common question I received uh, in my uh, social media channels and in my website also, how to become a planning engineer? The answer of this question could be same something like how to drive a car. In order to drive a car, you need to have some theoretical sessions and you need to have some practical sessions. Same for planning engineer. You need to know the planning techniques, which is theoretical knowledge, what are the uh, earned value uh, terms, how to use uh, or how to monitor and control any construction project. Then you need to practice in order to uh, apply this theoretical knowledge into reality. So it is very simple, like learning anything else, how to learn French, how to learn German. You need to know the academic knowledge and you apply it to your uh, construction projects. This study. So this will give us the opportunity to answer the second question, which is I have some basic knowledge in P6. Can I start with the advanced level? Definitely no. Uh, we created the learning journey in our website. You know, if you don't know me, I have some planning courses in my website and I make basic level, then intermediate level, then advanced level. I receive a frequent question. I have some knowledge in P6. Can I start with advanced level? Definitely not. You need to take them in sequence because, for example, in the, in the basic level, we focus on the planning techniques. We tell you that there is something called cost loading. There is something called resource loading. Our target is to teach you how to do these things in the simplest way. Now you know and learn it, the concept. When you go to the intermediate level, we will do the same concept with the recent technology like power queries and so on. So if you skip the basic level and go directly to the intermediate level, you will find you, you, you have to learn too many things at the same time. You have to learn why we are doing the cost loading in the first place. And secondly, how to do it in a smart way. That's why we prefer you focus first on the planning techniques, learn about cost loading, resource loading, why we need them. Then you learn how to do it in a smart way. Third question. Is why I should start with the basic level. As I told you, basic level will be focused more about the planning techniques, while the intermediate level will be focusing on how to do these planning techniques in a smarter way. The fourth question, also related to the courses, I know that the answer uh, will satisfy your question. Why there are two methods in the intermediate level and the advanced level for creating the baseline schedule? Okay. In the intermediate level, we dealing with medium-sized projects. Okay. Uh, we can also use the same method for kind of big projects. But in the advanced level, we are dealing with a huge project, mega construction project. For example, 200 buildings, 300 villas, how you are going to manage the large amount of data. This is the point. So if you working with medium size project, you can use the intermediate uh, course uh, uh, method. If you are uh, dealing with a mega construction project, you can use the advanced uh, course method. However, it's up to you. We are trying to give you the best knowledge what we have, and you are welcome to apply it to the relevant project. It is not necessarily that we telling you this works for medium project, it will not for mega project. It might work for your case. 
So we giving you different things how to do thing how to do a baseline, and you are welcome to use the proper method in your project. Okay, the fifth question: How can I get a job as a planning engineer? This is very frequent question. Okay, before asking this question to yourself, are you ready? It means that you know the planning uh, concepts, you know the planning techniques, you are very strong in using planning tools. Because sometimes I receive questions from you that, okay, I have uh, an interview tomorrow and I need to study for the planning. So why you didn't study it months ago? So in, to answer this question, my first advice is to be ready. Are you ready? So if the answer is not, then forget about searching for a job for now and start studying and practicing the planning from a small project to a mega project. After you did this one and you are confident that you can pass the interview, then I can tell you go to our website. We have a dedicated section for jobs. We collect jobs from the uh, different sources and we will get we will put the apply method in the website i will put the link in this video also so it is uh, e easy you can find the recent jobs and apply to it the other thing is to make your linkedin profile very strong because sometimes the companies will go and look in linkedin for the uh, candidates so this is my advice uh, next question, do you recommend PMP certificates? Yes, definitely. And when after you finish five years of experience? I don't recommend anyone to get any theoretical, theoretical only uh, knowledge before he is or she is very strong in the practical experience. So in my opinion, five years is okay. So you have now good practical experience. Now you can go for the PMP certificate. It is a globally recognized and I highly recommend for planning engineers. Uh, the next question is interesting. Someone is asking how you started your career. Okay, uh, I started my career as a site engineer for one year. Then I moved to the technical office for one and a half years. Then I traveled to Saudi Arabia. I worked in a construction company for uh, about two years as a planning engineer. Then I moved to another company where I started my real planning uh, challenge. At this stage, there was no planning department in my company. So I, I was a planning engineer in a project. It was a, a, a huge project, by the way. And after we finished this project, they promoted me to be the planning manager and then the company planning department manager uh, in this company. So I spent almost 10 years in this company. Then I came back to Egypt. I opened my office uh, in construction planning. And uh, then I traveled again to UAE. I spent there uh, three years then I permanently uh, now managing my company. So I started site engineer, then technical office engineer, then uh, mix of technical office and the planning, then pure planning. And this will give me uh, uh, the opportunity to answer one famous question. Shall we start as a planning engineer directly or site first or maybe technical office first? My answer, whatever comes, start with it. And the other question also is very interesting and I will tell you a story behind it. Why you record your videos in English while your first language in Arabic? This is started actually uh, more than 10 years when I uh, published my first course and it was in Arabic. And uh, uh, I read uh, the comments frequently. Uh, so I found too many people they are not speaking Arabic and they asking for English uh, content. That's why. So if I'm talking in Arabic, I'll, my audience will be limited. However, I created especially for those who speak Arabic only uh, a YouTube channel in, uh, in Arabic. You are welcome to go there. But the main purpose that 
I found later on I have audience from China, from USA, from Canada, from uh, Thailand, from, from places I never heard of. So the most used language in the world is English. And my English is very simple, by the way. So I think it is uh, visible to use the most uh, common language uh, in my videos. And again, as I told you that I have a dedicated Arabic YouTube channel, you are welcome to check it. The ninth question is asking why you don't make more videos like this by my face fan. This is the purpose of the question. Do you like it? If you would like me to do more videos like this, let me know in your comments that you need more videos like this and I'll be happy to do it. Usually I'm evaluating your response to my content by your comments, likes and so on. So when I find that you need some specific content, I'm trying to do it. I do my best to do the content you are looking for. Uh, the tenth question is, what is your current job and what do you do? Okay, my current job is planning and managing director. I have my company established in Egypt. I have my company established in UEE, planning engineer FZE. And I'm now uh, the company manager. And also I am managing my planning teams where we do uh, some planning services for companies in Gulf and even in Europe, so I'm doing, I'm playing the planning manager role as well. The second part of question is asking, and what do you do? We do training for planning, we do services for planning, like uh, uh, baseline, uh, updated schedule, monthly, weekly reports, whatever tasks related to the planning, we are uh, doing it. Uh, another question is asking about my education. Okay, I'm a civil engineer. I'm graduated 2003. Then I took my PMP certificate in 2010, and I have a master degree in project management from Liverpool University in UK in 2016. So this is my education, and I am not a doctor because some of you uh, mentioned that I am a doctor. No, I am not. And to be honest, I don't see it uh, beneficial for a planning to have a PhD unless he or she is uh, uh, looking for academic uh, uh, teaching way, something like this, so teaching in university or something like this. Uh, and a very nice question also is asking from where you get the method you are using in your courses. Let me tell you a secret here. These methods are a result of a huge try and error. During my 20 years or 22 years now of experience, we face too many challenges. So whenever we face a challenge, we try to find a solution for this challenge. That's why one course from my uh, courses could take maybe six months, one year to prepare and finish. Because we do try and errors, trying to find the best way or the best method fits this uh, situation. Always we face, for example, the challenge of doing the data loading, cost loading and resource loading and equipment loading. That's why when I saw the Power Query uh, launched in Excel, so I'm trying to implement this new technology to serve us as a planners and uh, how to uh, get the benefit or the maximum benefits from it. So the answer of this question is yes, we are doing a lot of trial and error and find the best method to do things. Uh, another question is asking how we can contact you. Uh, I will put the contact uh, details and it depends on for what you are go uh, tr trying to get in touch with me. Uh, sometimes I received a very detailed question on WhatsApp. Uh, I, this question might require for, uh, and I'm in front of my PC and I need to check what are these menus, taking some screenshots. So definitely I cannot answer these type of questions in WhatsApp. However, when I received the same question uh, by email, I'm trying to do one of two things. Uh, if uh, it, it is a good question, it could help other planning engineers, so I create an article for it. And I publish it on my website. 
if it is something specific to a certain scenario, I reply the email with the certain uh, scenario. So in order to contact me, I'm uh, recommending for you, if it is a quick question, you are welcome to use WhatsApp. If it is a detailed question required some uh, reply or technical reply, it is better to use the uh, email. How we can find your latest content? This is one of the questions. You can find my contents in several places. For example, my, the articles will be found in my website. The uh, article PDF file will be found in our uh, LinkedIn page. You will find our videos on the LinkedIn and YouTube. However, however, if we have a complete course, you will find it in YouTube only. We post some shorts on YouTube and uh, Instagram and even TikTok. So you will find below this video a list of our social media. You are welcome to join. Also, we have a newsletter where we uh, send a weekly email telling you what is new, what we have created in the past week. And the last question is, I have a question. How can I ask it to you? It is very simple. I'm reading the comments. So if you have a question, you are welcome to put it in the comments. Or if it is a, a, a detailed question or technical question, you need an answer for it. You are welcome to send it to my email. It will be shown now on the screen. And uh, also there is my WhatsApp number. You are welcome to connect. I'm trying to uh, communicate with you uh, in regular basis. However, if you would like this type of videos, please let me know. I will be doing more. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.